Vajciak actually finding a moment to turn his hand into a bluff. It's a tough call to make. Does make the call. This dude loves check raising. Oh my goodness. What is oh he doing? Oh my god. What is he doing? He's just raised it to 8.5 million. Pocket nines for back ahead. Nine nine. Nine nine. King Jack suited for Shulman. Fair fight. Pocket nines against the King Jack. One diamond. diamond. No overlap in the suits. Sees a continuation bet from the aggressor, but really depend on sizing. It's tough to wrestle a pot away from Shulman. Yeah, and it's just like, look, you hit her jack or king, you're probably good from his perspective of thinking, you know. Checks it. He has king jack suited, that means that he's going to have the king queen suited, the king queen off, queen jack suited, um, queen 10 suited, I think, is going to float for that small bet. So that's why Shulman does come out firing, wants to fold out some better hands that can't really handle a lot of pressure, something like a big ace high that might just decide to let him win it. But of course, pocket nines are a bit too high up in his range to let go here. Ooh, baby. Does Shulman decide to pull Ooh, the trigger? Oh, oh, oh. If the light is green, uh -oh. the trap is clean. Uh -oh, uh oh, uh oh. You know. An apparition Shulman, about to be sucked into Shulman the trap. If just didn't walk around like such a freaking big oh. shot, he would be able to check back here. You get for being so cocky, Nick. Looks like more than 5,000. Never mind. My bad. My bad. I misread the situation. Ugh. Nine, eight, three. So top pair, top kicker for Paris. That looks like 11,000. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Paris now a three to one favorite. Safran does not fire again. So I don't mind the give up here from Safran. Hope to get a free card from those nine and eight X. And I think if Paris did get some action here, like a check raise. And wow, I'm very surprised to see Safran call here. Pretty quick call. Maybe your plan is to bet on a spade, I think. Earlier today, I actually recorded an interview with David and Dara for the Chip Race podcast. And literally the moment we finished the interview, the internet cut. Here it comes. Not an easy call this for Paris a, to make, Griffin. This is a really, uh, really pretty bet. Wow. Does make the call. A great call by Maxime Paris. Pretty amazing. Um, that does happen. There is a sort of a dream sequence right after that scene, which I guess would have made more sense had she actually died on screen, but no. Billy Zane. 20 million mark, and I'm telling you, that's that's real tough. What a flop for Pat Curran. Yeah, Not it's right? Okita who's betting here. Top pair. As a call, keep all those bluffs in, and Patka knows the assignment and does just that. Jack on the turn doesn't change anything. Yeah, and there's like a card to pure bluff at the Jack to more pressure here, especially with Rubens having just nine big blinds. But Ogura, who's had good instincts, all final table, doesn't bet. Yeah. That looked like the give up, and Patka. What is oh he doing? Oh my god. What is he doing? He's just raised it to 8.5 million. So this is just uh, a poor, poor hand from Ogata. I think a, a, a big, big mistake. Well, Doesn't Patka really make much sense. has made the call, yeah. and that is going to change the dynamic. That is going to give Thomas Patka the chip lead once again. Tournament staff announcing we've reached the next break. We're going to get one more hand in. Pocket three is for Yulatalo. Just three bet. It's easy. EPT champions, they don't care about the break. They care about chips. And we see a three right in the window. 
And Witsiak not likely to be given up on this pot anytime soon. Capable to continue bluffing sometimes. Can it be ace king also, right? Yeah, Obviously. No, yeah, okay, I mean, if cool. it's ace queen, it's definitely ace king too. So yeah, sorry, not necessarily just getting trapping bluffs, but I'm saying, you know, also, you know, other beneficial situations that they'll continue betting for value as well or perceived value. Or a suited card. A suited is more, li oh, more likely to flat wow. yikes. Love you, TFY, GH, BJ. Vajciak actually finding a moment to turn his hand into a bluff, which I really appreciate here. A, a range narrowing. Yes, I have a set I call. Yeah, I mean, he just picked a size where the threes, I think, can pretty the call. <laughs> Horrible run out. Chips are flying. Cervantes. Jack 10 off. And Rocco with ace queen on the button. Celeron in the big blind with king jack suited. A perfectly fine hand to complete and defend with. A whirl of opportunity. Headed to the flop. Eight, five, deuce, two diamonds. Rocco technically with the best hand, the ace queen, and is going to bet. This dude loves check raising. Remember oh, yeah? him from yesterday? Yeah, he's not going anywhere. I'm telling you, this guy is. Pretty sharky. Thinking about that ace jack hand, I think that's so bad, but I'm telling you. Five of hearts on the turn. Ace high. Check. Rocco yeah. checks uh, back. River is an eight. Yeah. And the value of ace high it's is pretty good right mm -hmm. now, I'd say. Hold on. And goes for the show. <laughs> oh, Cervantes. Wow. Rocco makes the call. Cervantes <laughs> concedes You're defeat. You did it. <laughs> We're calling the cops. You are the worst criminal ever. Yeah. And where were you? And I was like, I, I was out. And she's like, OK. And then the cops dragged me in this conference room at the hotel, and they're like, and where were you last night? And I was like, oh, I was at the casino party with my friends. And they go, all right, well, what kind of car did you drive here? Because they thought I took the TV and put it in my car. And I go, um, I came here in a limo. And the cop just closed his notebook. He goes, all right, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was I think I won a tournament from my room while the TV was I mean, gone and I didn't know. notice. For me to watch. I'm probably up, not going to see Betbeasy get too crazy with this hand. Probably just going to be a one and done if Moreau decides to come along. I don't know. That sizing kind of on the chunky side, though. Moreau don't care if it's a chonker. Max oh. pressure. It's a tough call to make. Just looking to see if Moreau was going to snap call, but no. Moreau Does didn't. make the call. What an amazing that call by amazing. Moreau. Yes. Calls for his tournament life and is right and gets the full double wow. up. Wow. Like, I don't think I know a single player who wouldn't mention that they went broke on one of the last hands of the night if they went broke in one of the last hands of the night. All right, we got Pavlov opening a six on the button this time. <laughs> Defense with the deuces and a big, fat, juicy flush draw for Pavlov. Like ringing a bell, here's the C-bet. Not a lot of places for the deuces to go, except into the muck, I feel like. There's just not going to be a whole lot of turn cards where you feel like you're going to be able to proceed profitably. So if you call here, that doesn't feel like a good option. <laughs> We're hoping your opponent will slow down. We got a full house draw on. now. You didn't have, you know, the backdoor flush draw or backdoor straight draw. You just had deuces, but now you have two pairs. So so can certainly continue to bet your equity and try to get rid of perhaps you know, a 4X or a hand as weak as deuces. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Full house draw did come in. Full boat. And <laughs> looks like Judy's going to be the one to 
put chips in. Pavlov reaching. Oh, well, okay, that's one way to play it. If you're not going to go for the double barrel on the turn, say if you had, you know, kings full of queens or jacks or even aces in this spot, would you go for the raise against that particular sizing? It gets called. Oh, my goodness. Stationed by Shweedy. And Shweedy will chip up. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.